Hello again from Hasbro Gaming. I'm Brian, and in this video we're taking a look at Monopoly Gamer. This board game takes your favorite Nintendo characters and brings them into the world of the Monopoly game with new gameplay. A traditional Monopoly game is all about who has the most cash, but with Monopoly Gamer, it's all about the points. The more points you earn by collecting coins, buying properties, and winning boss fights, the better chance you have of getting the highest score and winning. Here's what you get with the game. A game guide, title deed cards for cool Super Mario levels, character and boss cards, reminder cards, coins which replace money, a numbered die, a power-up die, and cool Super Mario character tokens. Let's take a closer look at what makes Monopoly Gamer different. In the traditional Monopoly game, you have two numbered dice that tell you how many spaces to move. Here, on each turn, you roll the numbered die and this power-up die. The power-up die lets you activate a special ability on your turn, and you get to choose whether to move or use your power-up ability first. Some abilities let you collect coins from the bank, and some make your opponents drop coins directly on the board, so you can try to pick them up when you pass them. Let's pretend we're in the middle of a game. Mario rolls a six and a green shell. With a green shell, he can make the character in front of him drop three coins. He uses the green shell before he moves, and Princess Peach drops three coins. Then, when Mario moves six, he passes over the coins and gets to pick them up. If Mario had chosen to move first, and then Princess Peach had dropped her coins, he would have missed out on collecting them. Now, my favorite part of playing, the character abilities. These characters all have unique abilities that can really mess with your opponents, so it matters who you choose. In Monopoly Gamer, you get Mario, Princess Peach, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong. Each character has two unique abilities. One activates when you land on a superstar board space, and the other lets you boost certain abilities on the power-up die. Here's an example. Mario rolls a three and coins. Because he's Mario, he gets to collect four coins from the bank instead of three. That's his power-up boost. And check it out. Mario landed on a superstar space. He gets to activate his superstar ability. This lets him roll the die and collect that many coins plus five from the bank. We know Mario is a pro at grabbing those coins. Something else that makes Monopoly Gamer different is every time a player passes go, they trigger a boss fight. Beating bosses earns you big points and a prize. Here's how it works. If you pass go, at the end of your turn, you flip the top boss card. If you want to fight, pay the cost. To fight Larry Koopa, you have to pay the bank one coin. Then you get to roll the die. You have to roll a three or higher to beat Larry. If you do, your prize is that you get to take the least expensive unowned property. You also get to keep the card for points. So what if you don't beat the boss? Then the next player can pay and fight the boss if they'd like. Those are the basic differences between Monopoly Gamer and the traditional Monopoly game. Let's watch our friends play a couple turns. Monopoly Gamer.